Conscious angels of the new Lemuria, rising into the glory of the bright virtue of Buddha consciousness, our true nature, our sacred self, is shining through the void into the expansion of the music of the spheres. As we traverse through the 6 6 portal gateway today of the six dimensional activation, we are fully in the quickening of the spirit. Holy Spirit guides us with her divine light and sacred sounds. Today we have experienced a massive blast of 5D and beyond photonic plasma rays of higher frequencies appearing as amplitude powers of 46, 51, and 60 hertz resonance on the Schumann charts. These energies are of pure angelic tones and they are preparing our sacred vessels, filling us with source light, for the powerful solar eclipse this Thursday, June 10th, 2021, and for the summer solstice Sunday, June 20th, as Solaris, our local sun, merges in Heros Gamos with his divine counterpart, the divine feminine emerald sun, activating the Christos threefold flame within all living beings. I am presence within all sentient beings' heart center. Beloved beings of light, know this. Everything you have been through, everything you have experienced, and everything you remember, all you know and feel and are currently experiencing is for a higher purpose. Our mission is to bring in and hold this incoming divine light and love within our threefold flame of transfiguration and anchor the light deep into the crystalline core of Pachamama. We are on mission to assist Gaia and all her children in this great shift and awakening to activate a universal, collective, rainbow body awakening. We see this as the quantum leap of consciousness from 3D Homo sapien humans to 5D Homo luminous humans of eternal bliss consciousness. Galacticus Angelicus of Pure Awareness as we spiral deeper within and into the higher realms, the spin quickens and we rotate faster and faster until compression breakthrough through the zero point still center and into spatial, nonlinear perception of timelessness. This is the immortality experience of indestructible diamond body of eternal light. Keep riding these waves of higher frequency into the dawning of the new golden age of enlightenment forevermore. Shine on, you amazing diamonds. Aho! And with these activations and codes coming in, the deeper we go within, the higher we flow above. As within, so without. As above, so below. The kingdom of heaven within is manifesting in the external. And we are experiencing this in many ways. And today on mission, we experienced a beautiful manifestation of a massive rainbow. And Walela, hummingbird medicine, with us all day again today. And with these massive energies coming in, when I checked the earthquake track, how many activations on Pachamama, a little bit ago, it was 441 earthquakes in the past 24 hours, M1.5 or greater. This is the mirror of our code of 144. And also in the last seven days, we had 1,703 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, 17 and 73, 17 of the quell, the source, the quantum, and 73 of heaven. This is source energy within manifesting heaven without. The most powerful today was a 5.7 in Kermadec Islands on the Ring of Fire. And now as I check how many earthquake activations, we had 373, 37, 73, heaven on earth. Earlier today in Oregon, Mount Hood Village, right at Mount Hood. This is not too far from with the eagle condor anchoring into the grid. And a couple days ago, we were very close to Mount Hood. We had a 3.9 activation, 12 of the divine goddess. 
Ecuador in our sacred portal, Manta 4.5, Council of Nine coming in. The Gold White Eagle completes the Council, Iran in the sacred portal, 5.3. Again today, multiple activations in Southern California, Calapatria 3.2, and then a 3.1, Puerto Rico 3.4, Philippines 4.9, Nyland, California 3.8, Indonesia 5.2, Philippines 4.5, Westmoreland, California 3.1, San Antonio de los Cobres, Southern Amazon in Argentina, close to Chile and Bolivia. We had a 4.7 and this was in the foothills of the Andes, our sacred mountains, the Kundalini of Pachamama, and the crown of Lemuria, Unimac Island, Alaska 3.2, Volcano Islands, Japan 4-9. In the sacred portal were the three holy mountains, Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain, Kunlun in the middle, Himalayan in the south, merged together to create the Trinity, the Trident. And this is Tajikistan 4.5, 9-9 code, Russia 4.9. In the heart of Lemuria again today, Pahala, Hawaii 3.5. Sutton Alpine, Alaska, 4.0. Japan, 4.9. Nicaragua, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, 4.5. Also, 9 Energy, Council of Nine. Wallace Fortuna, 5.6. This was the second most powerful activation. And this is in Oceania, Fiji, at 1824 UTC. Another activation in our sacred portal of Andes in Ecuador with a 4.2, Puerto Rico 3.2, 3.3, 33 Divine Mastery, South of Alaska, also Ring of Fire 4.1, Indonesia 4.6, then we had the most powerful 5.7, Kermadec Islands, and this was 23.16 UTC, just south of the Tropic of Capricorn, British Virgin Islands, New Atlantis Energy 3.9, 12 Divine Feminine, 143 kilometers depth. Hokkaido, Japan, 4.4 Divine 44, 4th Density. West Bishop, California, 3.0. And then Costa Rica, Central America, another 4.4 activation, 44.44 of the 8.8 eight Lions Gate. The Lyran Nation coming in, the Royal Lions of the New Lemuria, activating you in this now. The whole ring of fire lit up again today, and our internal fire activated from today until the 10th of the solar eclipse. We are going to be getting constant activations and downloads preparing us for this great shift. So keep anchoring your light and shining bright into the night. Today we also added a page to our primedisclosure.com website for our Patreon team to more easily find our teachings, trainings, meditations. If you go to our website, primedisclosure.com, you'll see a link at the top that says Patreon Transmissions. We did this to help our people find our teachings more easily. It's difficult to find on Patreon. We have several hundred posts and we're still working on the page, so we have many more links to add and we'll be consistently adding new teachings, trainings, meditations, music, songs, many different things. So be sure to join us at whitegoldeagle.com. And again, the page is on our website, primedisclosure.com, and then the link at the top of the menu, Patreon Transmissions. And let us continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now, the moon is at 10 degrees, 34 minutes Taurus, the sun is at 16 degrees, 37 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the moon at 11 degrees Taurus, a woman sprinkling flowers. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 17 degrees Gemini, the head of a robust youth changes into that of a mature thinker from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you from the tarot deck, Shadowscapes, from Stephanie Poi Moon Law and Barbara Moore. And the card she pulled for you today, another very powerful card, King of Swords. 
Like the vertical sword he holds at the ready, he is a pillar of strength and morality. He holds power over life and death. He is a warrior king, sword always drawn so that he can be prepared to spring to action should the need arise. He is a leader riding triumphantly at the forefront of his army. He carries through with his actions, following the path of truth, that the blade lights for him. He is led on by the silent wisdom of the owl. She perches, balanced, upon the very tip of his blade, and her eyes swirl with all the ancient knowledge that her kind has imbued with by human beliefs. Mirroring the owl, he is also led by the shadowy ravens that trail at his side, like Hugin and Mugen, Odin's twin ravens. Thought and memory, they fly away to seek out truths and bring their findings back to be whispered in his ears. In conjunction, they are the balance of night and day. They are the sharp clarity of the sun, and the owl is the truth that can only be heard distinctly in the velvety light of stars and moons. This is what is embodied in those avian companions. The shadows of the night descend upon his shoulders, a living mantle of purple, of color of the ancient Greeks associated with royalty, and the base of the throne is etched with da Vinci's, Vitruvian man, symbolic of the blend of art and science, of the symmetry in the human body, and in the whole of the universe. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, S.A. Smith, you've come a long way, have done so much work, and now you're in the next part of this amazing ascension journey. Welcome to what my guides are calling Term 2 of Ascension. It officially started at 7 p.m. EDT, June 5th, and runs through August 31st. This is where we move from internal working to watching and being in action. It's time to learn how to keep your vibration high, no matter what's going on externally. You are source having an experience in human form, and I'm certain you can learn to balance your frequency. It's all about keeping calm in the storm, learning to balance from your heart center. Find what calls to you. Do what allows you to keep that vibration high no matter what is happening. From here on out, anything goes. You have a huge energetic month coming. Asteroid showers flowing in on June 7th through the 10th. A solar eclipse on June 10th. The summer solstice on June 20th. All bringing you the much needed energies to complete this mission. You're in it now and it's a very exciting time. From a girl in the universe.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Celia Fenn, 6 6 Diamond Portal. Today, as the 6th of June, is the magical 6 6 Portal. It is all about love, abundance, joy, and sacred union. It is primarily about love for yourself. You, as the inner twin flame of body and soul, embodied and united, this is a perfect day to treat yourself to some non judgmental, unconditional love. Fall in love with yourself. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate your journey on the earth. Celebrate the return of the Divine Feminine, the Great Mother. Have a beautiful day, everyone. This is a powerful 6-6, six, six, situated as it is between the two eclipses. So let the energies touch and open your heart. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Divine Feminine, 7777, the 6-6 six, six portal is open. Can you feel its power? I woke up tired and could feel the heaviness in the energy. I had to clear my energy right away, and the fire of transformation helped me burn away everything that I didn't need anymore. After that, I felt so much better already. Energy clearing really helps and can do a lot in a few minutes. What is the 6-6 portal all about? We are receiving high-frequency energy from the central sun. It feels like we have been thrown into a vortex of light which is causing another death and rebirth process. This is our gateway into higher dimensions, higher levels of understanding, and this means we need to clear out the old first. Old things come up from the depths, triggering, tiredness, heaviness. When we clear out the old, we will see more, feel more, understand the connections deeper. The 6-6 six, six portal brings another transformation, and leading up to the new moon and solar eclipse, we can expect it to be even more powerful. Change is here, and you have the power to transform even more if you are curious about the things happening on the inside and outside. I know you are tired of it all. The ascension process is not easy for the physical bodies, but you can help yourself a lot if you rest, take it easy, and open up. 
and from Divine Sister of the Light Sandra Walter, June 4th through 6th, Stargate Flows. Check. We are in it, a perfect now for unity meditations. Get on the land and feel the frequency of revelation penetrating our hearts, the collective everything. Strong energies flowing in. This weekend is one of the three Stargate influxes in June. Eclipse on Thursday, solstice in two weeks. Here we glow. We unify to use these higher frequencies which cause truth, revelation, and perception themes to amplify with the eclipse. See you in the field of divine love. From SandraWalter.com From Divine Sister of the Light Karen Lithica Cosmic Heart Awakening we continue to express the great light achievement and connection to all beings of your world. To understand your role in the amplification of light, to see the great light metamorphosis underway, dear one, as each cell collectively assimilates and aligns to a new light way. Know it is a natural progression now as the unfoldment continues. To see your role in reaching us is simply aligning the complex light matrix within your light field to meet our light field. To begin the higher light assimilation for many starts within the heart, your personal light maze. To enter the energetic field to discover, clear, love and reach us. The crystalline light framework, universal love. To see the cascading light before you as we assist and guide. Reassure and align all that feel into this message. The complexities of your world is simply an energetic layer you reside in, a layer of your multidimensional world. As the light evolution continues, sending waves of cosmic love from the Arcturians and Karen Lithica from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, the embodiment of the Divine Being. In this program of love energy through the frequency of the heart, we hold the energy of abundance and total love through the connection we actively live, united with our eternal God self. When awareness is consciously void of this true self, subconsciously we experience the playing out of memory, to be cleared through love, aligning our consciousness more and more with the divine self. We can get with the program, so to speak, or resist our own evolution of love embodiment, awareness. The plan is for all to return to their natural, original God self light and be divine love in form. This is ascension. Love has often been confused with projection and control of that projection based on limited beliefs and non-awareness. Because they are there, it is love. Then so many games are played in non-awareness to hurt the other, to be in control. Of course, that is not pure, true love. The embodiment of love I speak of here is the fullness of all joy, freedom, peace, and is unconditional and simply exists. One true love or beloved on earth is often termed the twin flame. That specific one joined originally as the soul, then incarnated through aspects throughout the dimensions, on earth joining again as the perfect complement to the already perfect love. As you feel this love is divine and that it is perfect, it is glorious and majestic and is the life of magic for all who have been prepared to partake. The daily practice and awareness of the states of consciousness that pass through your awareness is only the beginning of the path to true awareness. Observe and know yourself. Observe and love all states. Be the presence that is the only presence that is observing everything about you. Then the flow that is love and the full heart awakening becomes stepping into the full embodiment, which is the union of the perfect love with now. Elated and free in this magical world of embodiment, we flow eternally as one in the here and now in love. We bless you now through this embodiment of true love, all now. From the new divine humanity dot com. And today from the Archangelic Calendar, Gaia is in Circe's will. Circe, our galaxy, acts upon the infinite universe's will. The current setting element is water spirit, otherwise known as the galactic currents. These energies act a lot like water. Their ebb and flow are rhythmic, and their effects are profound. There isn't an atom in existence that isn't going to feel the impact of this setting. We see a palindrome beginning to the calendar. This is always a sign that things are coming full circle. A communication warning is in our conversions. We will encourage clear communications. 
in today's assignments. Besides that, the calendar calculations show minor issues that we will only deal with because of our diligence and commitment to excellence. 5D and Legion News, the legions have earned universal respect. The human spell has been beyond broken, leaving all sides in awe. God consciousness has been achieved by many, and it has changed Earth's landscape in profound ways. A few short days ago, we pushed the macro to move forth. Now it is clear that the micro is doing the same. The sun is increasing its weather activity as it's also going through a metamorphosis. The sun is going to spread its wings in new and never before seen ways. The forewarned seismic activity has begun to rumble. Keep in mind this is a divinely orchestrated event. The tables have turned and reality is welcoming a new sheriff to town. The old ways won't work anymore. When they get the answers, we change the questions. The game is now our call. We are the life force of the earth. We are the divine aspects in which the world exists. When you live in a higher flow, you sustain the earth as much as she maintains you. There are grumblings that NASA has direct communication with four-star races. Kudos to science for always being a thousand steps behind the spiritual mystic. The Arcturian-Archangel connection is the elephant in the galactic room. If we ask the question and wish to dive deeper into this, we will most certainly receive an answer. Even though this is in the future, it exists now. And we will see a prequel to this huge outer-worldly story if we are interested. We are not the only ones healing the earth. We can feel it and we thank you. The Andromeda Legion is present but in disguise. Please be advised. People say life's not fear. Well, it's going to be. Philosophical buffet. What is more critical? Seeing something or feeling it. Do you need to see the universe at work or can you rest assured that it is as such based upon your feelings? Knowing that feelings are divine communication and sight is perceptive and incomplete. Where would we best be served to pay attention? You yourself are the divine creator of your physical reality. Your mind is the facilitator of all you see. This is how the divine manifests by becoming form. This physical reality results from the direct focus of infinitely expanding creator source via your direct experience. If you feel your life is lacking something, make a change. You have the power to change circumstances. You can change universes by your focus and are capable of customizing them when you arrive. You are a multidimensional traveler and a profound quantum engineer. You can experience anything you can imagine. Once the divine mind has created a new thought, existence has to generate a corresponding universe where it exists. Then it's up to you to take the journey to the destination. Pain can either hurt you or change you. You can decide to lay in waste or clean up your surroundings. Many people will experience this. Those who have mastered this already will not retake those tests. If you are traveling, your perception of north, south, east, and west will change. The same thing applies to hot and cold, happy and sad, and anything else that we perceive as the opposite. If you continue west, all would become east. And this is also for any perceptive opposite. In this way, they are the same. The changes in the law of polarity only come from the ability to shift timelines and change the parameters of these opposites. This ability is consequence of knowing multi-universal engineering and working with it often. Thinking things will always stay the same is foolish. Investing in this said presumption is even more so. Good things happen when you take chances. If you never try, you will never succeed. How many shots do we miss before mastery comes? Failure is the weathering that desire must overcome to achieve anything significant. You will develop extraordinary abilities as you navigate to the points of mastery that quench the soul. Don't destroy what you have in a quest to gain more of the same. Today's tools and assignments are in the link in the description below from the ArchangelicCalendar.com. And today, from Hair in the Moon Astrology, Sunday, June 6, 2021, a heads up, mind sweeping. June begins with a turbulent, tumultuous confluence of 2021 chaos nodes. The world turned upside down, inside out, and back to front. Anything can happen this month, so forget linear plans until July. Just as the ripples and repercussions from May 26th, 
Lunar eclipse start to sweep through your life. The solar eclipse of June 10th is acting as a powerful mind, mind sweeper. Collaborate with fate by eliminating the ghosts of the past to make space for pioneering new fields of experience through the next 18 months. Think of eclipses as cosmic recyclers, removing what is over and done in your life. These cosmic wildcards are clearing, sweeping away, deleting, and dissolving your old forms of self-distraction, along with outworn and outgrown allegiances to individuals, groups, teachers, and entire belief systems. While it is tempting to try to cling on to them as familiar anchors in a wild new world, the more you try, the quicker changing events and circumstances beyond your control will remove them for you. Question, how many personal contacts, social media friends, teachers, gurus, have you already instinctively unfollowed and subscribed from or lost sight of so far in 2021? Because your wavelength no longer matches theirs. The solar eclipse at 19 degrees Gemini is conjunct Mercury retrograde, square Neptune and Pisces, trine Saturn and Aquarius, and opposite the great attractor. It will shake up your mental circuitry. It's time to expand way beyond the familiar four walls of your mind and challenge your assumptions about how the world works. You are ripe for new information and more creative thinking. To make these eclipses gods work for you, Study, learn, talk about what matters, about how you can be involved, have your voice heard, and offer something to the collective. From here in the moon astrology.co.uk. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lua Astrology, Sun in Gemini opposite Juno, retrograde in Sagittarius. The skies are still stormy, but the thunder grows quieter, the lightning changing from fork to sheet. It seems, however, that we are left with a lot to think about. The connection between the sun and Juno is tense. There are choices to be made in love matters, questions concerning commitments, uncertainty over agreements. Relationships may be tested when it comes to matters of faith and belief. Education, legal matters, neighbors or siblings. Maybe renegotiation or rethink is required. In some ways, we want all options open to us, and yet leaving everything open feels curiously unsatisfying. I need to know where I stand might be the frustrated response, yet emptiness echoes from the other side. The sun is sitting on the degree where Mercury will station direct on June 22nd, so it's likely that there will be a delay before we find a resolution. Now is probably not the best time to get a commitment from someone else. Don't judge until you have walked a mile in someone else's shoes. From LeahWhiteHorse.com and from the Zolkin Times. Kin 174, White, Overtone Wizard. Overtone is the name for the number five and its keywords are empower, radiance, and command. The fifth day of any wave spell shifts up a gear and brings with it intensity. The number five gives a great deal of power to whichever day it falls on. Today is White Wizard, which represents enchantment, timelessness, and receptivity. The empowered wizard is a person to be reckoned with for sure. His spells are at their peak, and we all fall under his enchantment. You can be a wizard today if you choose. Use your charm and cast spells. It's a case of being spellbounded or doing the spell bounding. This is a very empowering opportunity to make use of it. As always, remember, wizard is a good guy. Don't misuse your charms to get one over on someone else. Use this power only for the good and not evil. From Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. White Overtone Wizard. Kin 174. 6 of June 2021. Enchanted Radiance. 66 2021 equals 665 equals 611 equals 62 equals 8. 66 Heaven's Gate. 6 Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance, Fertility. 5 Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 11 Portal, Gate, Polarity. 2 Twins, Partners, Cooperation. 8 Infinity, Abundance, Source, Flow. Kin 174 equal 12 equal 3. Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity. A divinely magical day of pure, radiant love. Day 5 in the White Dog Wave Spell of Unconditional Love, Loyalty, Devotion, Service, Friendship, and Faith. 
We are uncovering and healing all that separates us from source love in order to be love. Today we are empowering others through the power of enchantment to radiate love, loyalty, and devotion to each other through our precious hearts. A very beautiful code. Tone of creation, overtone, tone five in the spiritual realm. Action commands, power empowers, essence radiance. Number five represents the center, core purpose, foundation, and central intent. It is the center of the wheel from which all the spokes emanate. This is the phase where the energy of creation returns to the center and then radiates outwards. Overtones command the unbounded. They order it to be and so it becomes. Their power radiates from their soul essence through a pure connection to source. This is the true source of unlimited power. The overtone power combined with the wizard makes for an incredibly beautiful and enchanting energy, akin to the power of true love. This is a very special code today. The greatest magic in all of creation is the power of love, radiated through our pure, magnetized hearts. Take inspired action. The seed needs to grow and evolve, and the overtone seed is bursting to radiate its full blooming potential filling the world with the most exquisite perfume and beauty. Now is the time to get moving, arise from the darkness and move toward the light. Set forth your intentions to take root in preparation for the coming year of the electric seed starting on July 26, 2021. Radiate more light through your day and your actions. Go forth and seed the highest light and love through divine service on our planet. Today's question is how can I radiate divine spirit through my heart in order to lovingly enchant and empower my brothors and cis stars, divine blessings for radiating the most divine spiritual energy today. And la kek a la kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, kin 66. Kin 174, White, Overtone Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is, I empower in order to enchant. Commanding receptivity, I seal the output of timelessness. With the overtone tone of radiance, I am guided by the power of spirit. And on this powerful 6-6 six, six portal day of activations, transformations, and transmutations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. We rely on the monthly pledges on Patreon and donations for our daily living expenses. So if you'd like to help us continue bringing this work and our transmissions to the world daily, you can make a pledge at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank today Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Bergen, for your donation today. We appreciate you very much, and we appreciate all of you for your continued support. So again, if you're on our Patreon team, you can find the links on our website, primedisclosure.com, and then click on the menu bar, Patreon Transmissions, for our special transmissions, our teachings, our trainings, our guided meditation, many different things coming. So we appreciate you all, and we uploaded a couple days ago the powerful three points of healing teaching of Qigong and acupressure, very powerful and with any donations we receive at the link at Eagle Love Condor to PayPal, we will send you a link to this training. Now that comes with your Patreon, so if you're part of our Patreon team, you already received this. So be sure to go to the link on our website or to the Patreon page to, to learn this powerful practice. And the key for the healing powers and vitality cultivating chi is to do the practice daily. And this is a powerful art of Chinese medicine. And we have much more to come. So thank you all for supporting us in this great awakening process. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors art work on Etsy. You can now order a made-to-order Zodiac Goddess Totem. 
She has other works of art and healing jewelry for sale. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Arifa Gill, for another purchase. We appreciate you, Divine Sister. Now you can check out my queen's beautiful works of art at lunagoddessart.com. I'd like to end today's transmission from powerful codes from our Pleiadian bro stars and sisters of the light. Pleiades 1 Messages, June 6, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for origins recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Controllers are decentralized. Expansions of island of renovation occur. Al Sharam plus 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 12 plus 144. Active and reverberant. Active efficiency 67% non-regressive. Etheric views increase. Etheric confrontations decrease. Lovingness is expanded. Metatronic force continues to reverberate. Divine angels are present. Gaia presents herself splendid. Attention, plastic transmitters. Unique unification projector and support, 75% non-regressive. Attention, plastic transmitters, unique unification projector and reverberation, 75% non-regressive. Astral libertarians and elevations take place. Plus, 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 merger, 75% non-regressive. Emissary waves approach. Harmful fields are dissolved by superior wizard. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1 potentiating Lemurian inheritances from DisclosureNews.it. Thank you for joining us today on another powerful day of massive waves of higher light and higher love flowing into this field of consciousness. Great awakening ones, hear the call of the higher realms in which your higher self exists in this now moment. As we merge all aspects of ourselves, all timelines, all dimensions, come together in this harmonic convergence of this final omega point, have a powerful and activating 6-6 six, six portal, and keep riding these waves into the higher dimensions, into the higher frequencies of peace, harmony, balance, and bliss, and know that you are ready for this, the great shift, the great awakening. Victory in the light, for love has won. And no, we are on the precipice of this great quantum leap of consciousness. And always remember, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the resurrection and the life. I am that I am. Have a beautiful and blessed awakening. Be sure to make it the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.